Hey everyone, I'm David, and I was recently sent these beautiful wooden ocarinas by Marlon Halverson, an ocarina maker based here in the United States, and so I thought I'd share them with you today by doing a quick review and also playing a couple songs and sound samples. So as I mentioned, these ocarinas are handcrafted by Marlon and his family, and he's actually been making ocarinas and musical instruments from a variety of materials for the past 30 years. A very cool fact about Marlon is he actually trained with Alan Albright, who was a well-known ocarina maker in the uh, 70s and 80s and actually trained some of my friends to make ocarinas as well. So there's a lot of experience and history behind these particular ocarinas. Um, they are made from a variety of different materials. Um, this particular one is made from walnut, which I love the smell of walnut. Uh, and I love the, the grains on walnut as well. Um, this particular one here in the middle is made from African paduke, which is a lovely reddish color. And these come in different keys as well. The main ones that they're selling now are in G, which are these bigger ones, and then also in A, like that one there. They do have an octave range. The Gs are G5 to G6, and then the A here is A5 to A6. And this is alder wood. Now, a really cool, unique design about each of these ocarinas is that these parts here in the upper band are a variety of different woods from all over the world, which is very cool. Each one is going to be completely unique in addition to the base woods. They come with these light fabric pouches, which is really just to keep them from being scratched. So you might want to grab something uh, to give them a little extra protection in the long run. And they also come with this set of instructions that gives you a brief history of the ocarina, uh, Marlin's experience and history, um, some finger tabs, some basic music theory, and uh, really just enough to get you started. And I like that he included these um, stems so that you can tell what the rhythms are as well. That's pretty unique. What I loved about these ocarinas is they have a very bright and cheerful tone, which makes happy, fast, upbeat songs a lot of fun to play. And they also have a slight chip to the tone, which I think is cool, and that's mostly because of the square uh, sound hole. They also have a slightly larger windway than I've seen in other ocarinas, which gives it a much lighter breath. And I thought that was cool, but it might take a little bit of getting used to if you're used to a stronger breath pressure. Despite the lighter breath requirement, it actually has a very good volume to it and carries very well, so I can imagine it being played in an outdoor setting or with other instrumentalists where it can cut through all the noise, and it's accurately tuned to G, which makes it even easier to play with those other instruments. I love the different designs that they have, and because they're handcrafted from different types of wood, they're all going to have differences in the final outcome, especially in the grains, which makes them really unique and guarantees you're going to have a one-of-a-kind ocarina. Now, since it only has that octave range with the four holes, it is going to be a little bit more limited in what you can play compared to five and six hole ocarinas that have the thumb holes in the bottom. Uh, that being said, it can still play a ton of your favorite songs, which I will demonstrate a couple right now. If you'd like more information about these ocarinas and maybe pick one up for yourself, there'll be some links in the description below where you can check those out. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. That lets me know that you want to see more videos just like it. And you can also subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching.